welcome back to my channel. I'm Millie and today I'm going to show you our homeschool essentials for preschool. But first, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe if you want to watch more videos related to motherhood and lifestyle. I upload new videos every week. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, so my daughter is three years old, so we are doing some preschool at home. It's not that strict, but still there are things that we are using on a daily basis that I think they're really important. I'm going to share with you. Everything that I'm going to mention is going to be linked down below in the description if you want to check them out. And if you are uh, homeschooling your kids too, especially in preschool, probably you print a lot of worksheets or activities that you find online. And nowadays it's really easy to find free printables on Pinterest or websites like totheschooling.net or thisreadingmama.com. That's why it's important not only to have a printer, but also a laminator. And this is the one we use, the Scotch brand. It's really practical. For example, if you have worksheets that you want your kids to use all the time, you can laminate them so they can use a dry and erase marker and use it many times over and over again. And for example, I use it a lot in my preschool folder. I mentioned this on one of my videos and as you can see here for example you have different activities, different worksheets that your kids are going to use a lot it's really practical for example it's really practical and useful to have if you want to protect them and they can last a long time they can use it they can use them over and over again. So yeah, it's really important to have, and it's not that expensive. This laminator costs around $25. So yeah, it's not that expensive, and it's really practical, and you're going to use it a lot. So yeah, this is a must-have for us. Okay, the next one is a calendar. We use this one from Melissa and Doug. You can see here. It's a little wolf it's here, and the rest of the magnets are here on the bottom it's really practical but you can find many different kinds for example at the dollar target spot made of felt of different materials different prices it doesn't have to be this one but yeah it's really important to have a calendar so they can get familiar with the days of the week the months the weather for example if they have What's the weather like today? The temperature, what activities we're going to do today? And every day before you start your sessions or your activities with your kids, you can approach with them to the calendar and show to them what day is today, what month, what year, so they can learn that way every day. So yeah, it's really important to have. And yes, it's another essential. Okay, and the next ones are these posters. Up here, I got this on Amazon, it's a pack of 10 posters and it has the days of the week, the alphabet, the seasons, so many different things, farm animals, for example, numbers and so on. You don't have to use them all, of course, but yeah, you can put them on your wall so every day they can see them and they can learn, get familiar with them. For example, this one, I'm really interested for Olivia to learn to see it every day, these um, numbers from 1 to 100. So yeah, it's really important. I think she's counting now from 1 to 20, but I want her to learn. And it has all the numbers here, and for example, in this row, they can count from 10 to 10. Yeah, it's really practical. This pack comes with these adhesive dots, so you can put it on your wall, so it's really practical. And yes, it's really important to have it, to have it on the wall, in the area where you homeschool your kids. It's really important. They can see them, as I said, every day and learn a lot. So yeah, another must-have. Okay, the next ones are flashcards. I have it right here, for example, these numbers. And I think they're really important because they're really interactive. You can find many different kinds. For example, I have numbers, the alphabet, I have opposites when I start learning that, animals, uh, same or different, and yeah, the other, they can practice a lot with it. You can use them in many different ways. You can ask them 
what number is this, what letter this is, or what animal, what is the picture. For example, the animals here has the animals and the word too, frog, and so on. Or the alphabet too, it's a great way for them to get familiar with the alphabet. When they start practicing letter sounds and start start read, start learning how to read, it's really useful and they are not that expensive. You can find them you can find them at Dollar Tree, at Target Dollar Spot or Walmart. They are very cheap. And as I said, you can find many different kinds. So yeah, it's enormous. And the next ones are arts and crafts materials. At this age, they get distracted easily. Their attention span is very short. So they, they just want to play. So it's very important to have arts and crafts materials and make, make them do different activities. Anything that requires for them to use their hands, it's very important too to develop their fine motor skills. For example, crayons, paint, play-doh, different materials like pom-poms, glue, they love to glue at this age, scissors, if they are old enough to start using scissors, cut and paste, they love doing that. And just for example, the crayons we use now are these jumbo crayons at this age, the big ones are really good for them at this age. It's easy for them to grab. And also the, the twistables too, because you know they break them a lot. So it's very important to have. Also dot markers, she loves using these too. And as I said, different materials with craft paper, different textures of paper, so they can use it with their hands, as I said, it's really important. Not only using worksheets or workbooks, most of the time they just want to play. And in preschool it's more important for them to develop their fine motor skills, to have activities, to have different activities. It's really good for them. And also you can find many different kinds at Dollar Tree, the Target Dollar Spot, Walmart, they are not expensive. You can find many different materials, really cheap. You can use them in many different ways. So yeah, they are really important too. So yes, this is everything I wanted to show you. Let me know in the comments what other homeschool essentials you have with your kids. Let me know. So I hope you like this video. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.